as the base 90 mm and height 120 mm. If the section is subjected to a shear force of 20 kN, so stop. Find the maximum shear stress and shear stress distribution diagram along the depth of the beam, indicating the values of controlling points. Okay. So first of all, uh, write down the given data. Base of triangular section is given 90 mm. B is equal to it will be 90 mm. And H is equal to it will be 120 mm. H is equal to 120 mm. Then shear force it is given. Shear force S is equal to shear force S is equal to it will be 20 kN. 20 kN. So convert it is in kilonewton to newton that is 10 raised to the power 3 it will be getting newton okay so first of all calculate the area of this cross section of triangular section it will be one half base into height one half one half base into height okay so one half one by two base it is 90 mm okay so base it is given 90 mm 90 into height it will be 120 mm 120 mm so it will be at area of this triangular section okay so one half one half base it is 90 height it will be 120 so it will be at 5400 mm 5400 mm square okay so this one it is area of this triangular section okay then next one it will be calculate average shear stress first of all we need to calculate average shear stress average shear stress okay so you can say it will be q average average shear stress so q average is equal to it will be shear force divided by Shear force divided by cross sectional area of beam. Cross sectional area of beam. Okay. So shear force it is 20 newton, 20 kilonewton. So 20 into 10 raised to the power 3 newton divided by divided by divided by cross sectional area it is 5400 mm square. 5400 mm square. Okay. 5400. So Q average it will be get Q average Q average is equal to it will be 20 into 10 raised to the power 3 divided by 5400 it will be 3.70 3.70 mp okay newton per mm square okay so now calculate first of all maximum shear stress maximum shear stress shear stress it will be occur at at h by 2 from top or bottom h by 2 from bottom h by 2 from bottom okay h by 2 from bottom okay so q q max is equal to q max is equal to it will be 3 by 2 q average so it will be 3 by 2 3 by 2 into q average 3 by 2 into q average 3 by 2 into q average q average q average so put all this value 3 by 2 3 by 2 into so Q average it will be 3.70, 3.70. So it will be get Q max is equal to here. Q max is equal to Q max is equal to maximum shear stress is equal to 3 by 2 into 3.70. So it will be 5.55, 5.55 MPA. Okay, so this one it is maximum shear stress. Now shear stress at neutral axis shear stress at neutral axis the second point shear stress at neutral axis shear stress at neutral axis neutral axis that is h by 3 from bottom h by that is means at h by 3 from bottom from bottom from bottom okay so for that q 
QNA, QNA, that is neutral axis is equal to, that is 4 by 3, 4 by 3, 4 by 3, 4 by 3, into Q average, into, into Q average. Okay, so is equal to write down four by three, four by three, four by three. So Q already it will be three point seven zero, three point seven zero. So it will be get Q N A is equal to Q N A is equal to shear stress at neutral axis four by three into three point seven zero. So it will be four point nine three. 4.93 mp okay so this one it is shear stress at neutral axis okay so we'll draw the shear stress distribution diagram okay first of all draw the triangular shape so this like triangular shape So first of all, draw the neutral axis. Neutral axis, this one it will be neutral axis. This one it will be neutral axis. Neutral axis. This one it will be neutral axis. Okay. Neutral axis. And location of maximum shear stress it will be then it will be so this one is distance it is neutral axis to third of edge to third of to third of edge from top and this one it will be this one it will be h by two sorry We need to draw this shear full distribution diagram for that. Okay. So this one it is neutral axis. Yeah, nee. This one it will be N A neutral axis. Okay, we'll draw the shear stress diagram for that. Okay. So maximum it will be located at any. So this one it is Q max. So this one it will be Q max. This one it will be Q max. Q max is equal to it will be 5.55. 5.55. And Q N A, Q N A, Q N A is equal to it will be Q N A is equal to four point nine zero, four point nine zero, four point nine zero, four point nine zero 
MP. MP. Okay. So this one it is shear stress diagram for the triangular shape. Okay. So this one it is QNA. This value can so we'll write down once again this one. This one it is Q and A is equal to it will be 4.90 4.90 MP. MP. Okay. So this one it will be 